The Harley haters will say that Harley Davidson has cultivated an image through their obviously very powerful marketing arm. And you Harley fanboys, you've fallen for it hook, line and sinker. You Harley guys only purchased a marketing image, an image of freedom and rebellion, nothing else. So really we need to look at the concepts of freedom and rebellion. What is freedom and who is actually free? Freedom means you can do whatever you want, when you want. It means you've got the power, or perhaps we could say the right to act, speak, even think how you want. Seems pretty obvious. Maybe your definition of freedom means you're just not locked up. Put in the comments what freedom means to you. There are laws, which is often a good thing, so you could argue that no one's totally free. There are taxes for anyone who earns money and you could argue that's extortion and no income earner is free. If you're poor, and even if you live in paradise on an island, you're trapped and restricted in what you can experience in the world by virtue of not having enough money. Anyone with responsibility to other people or responsibility to any financial payments or debts is not free. That includes anyone paying off their house or credit card, anyone who's got a deadline to meet, anyone with employees, children or a spouse, is also therefore not free. Wealthy people are captive to their investments and any material possessions that they own because all of this requires upkeep, which is much greater than maintaining a front lawn. Don't worry, no one's safe. Even movie stars are restricted in movement because of their fame. They've got privacy and security issues. Many will never ever be able to separate genuine friends from those people looking to make money from them. No one's totally free, but Harley riders are freer than most. Hi, my name's Eamon, welcome to the channel. Some great gear on our website, check it out, help out the channel. There's an old not dead t-shirt, you can have any colour you like as long as it's black or grey green, that other colour. An old not dead stubby holder, perfect to keep those beers or whatever else you drink cool. Harley riders are freer than people who drive cars and freer than people who are restricted to lesser forms of transport. Harley riders are also more free than other motorcyclists because they don't get hung up as much anyway on wearing all the right safety gear and helmets. That's freedom. They make more noise on their bikes than most other riders on other brands. That's freedom. The most popular bikes in the Harley lineup are the touring bikes and touring and long distance riding is freedom even if it's only on the weekend. Like all motorcycles, Harleys have the ability to be ridden fast, much faster than most cars and that's freedom freedom at the flick of your wrist. Harley riders have a huge worldwide network of other riders and groups and events and dealers that all welcome you wherever you go. That's freedom. Now, the traffic parts for you on a Harley, that's freedom. And I think there's a story somewhere about a guy called Moses. He does a similar thing. So I think we are on a good thing. Now, let's talk about rebellion. Where does the Harley Davidson image of the rebel come from? Harley Davidson made 88,000 WLA models for the military in World War II. They were used predominantly as messenger vehicles and military police vehicles during the war. After the war, the military sold off the surplus to the public at a discounted rate. Now, a lot of soldiers returning from the war picked them up. And as ex-servicemen were struggling to settle back into normal society after, I guess, the danger and the risks associated with war, they formed motorcycle-based groups. And I guess the group structure appealed as they were used to organised groups already from the military. After the war, during the Cold War era, the culture in the USA was very conservative with a lot of paranoia directed at anything away from the norm. And the threat of communism was heralded by government forces to rally and unite the population. Sounds like they clicked onto the easiest way to control people, which is create a common enemy. That sounds familiar. During this time, motorcycles and groups of guys riding them were already outside of what was considered normal. The media, of course, helped the rebel image along when the infamous Hollister incident happened. For those of you who haven't heard of that, in 1947 in the town of Hollister in America, there was an American Motorcycle Association rally. 
There was a bit of commotion and drunken behavior, but this was reported as rioting and taking over the town. And that's also where the term one percenter that's associated with outlaw motorcycle clubs comes from. Legend says that the American Motorcycle Association claimed that it was only 1% of motorcyclists who were causing trouble, and the other 99% are cool dudes that will bring your granny an apple. Now, the Hollister event was made famous in the 1950s. There was a Hollywood movie starring Marlon Brando called The Wild One, and of course, the baddies in the movie all rode Harleys. So from all of this, that's where we get the image of motorcycles and black leather jackets linked to rebels and troublemakers and lawbreakers being continued via the media ever since. Now during the 1960s, it sort of morphed into a more free-spirited image with movies like Easy Rider. That movie portrayed individuality and freedom from the rat race. And this association with freedom, lawbreaking and rebellion has continued all the way till now. Now the Harley Davidson corporate machine ran with freedom associated marketing hype, which in my view is very clever and works well. Now here's the interesting thing. To someone else that rides, jumping on a motorcycle is not really a big deal. But to the outside world, motorcycles are dangerous and those that ride them are associated with masculinity, rebellion, being wild and free. You're doing something that's outside the normal way of life for most people, and this is freedom. Outsiders think that you are all of those things because you ride a motorcycle. So to answer the first criticism, you only purchased the marketing image. Well, the answer is yes and no. The so-called image is actually reality for most people, and therefore it's true. If I'm a pencil neck geek riding down the road on my Harley, and I pass someone who says, wow, there's a really, really, really tough and free rebel, and it's true, I am in his eyes. And maybe only three people in the world can call me out on this. Mike Tyson. Left hook, good night. Oh, there's Nikita. and Popeye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay fit, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next videos.